good morning students i hope all are present here welcome again today we are going to discuss about uh, the topic failure of wave theory okay so how and why uh, the wave theory is failure so there are three logics as to why this experiment failed wave theory uh, the other logics or the other reasons number 1 energy by light means which is given to electron which is given to electron is not proportionate proportionate to its amplitude okay means dekho yahan pe jo diagram hai the, the intensity of light is made by amplitude and when we increase when we increase the intensity of light the energy of intensity or uh, the energy of electron does not change means that so intensity and amplitude they are not related to energy while wave theory says they are related to energy so now let wave let wave theory says that that is related to energy but our experiment say it is not related to energy that means wave theory is wrong number one and other thing the concept of wave front or the concept of threshold frequency means the concept of wave front suppose this is a metal surface and this light energy wave front comes here wave front comes here okay wave front comes here and energy is absorbed by all these electrons then second wave front comes with this energy then third comes with with the energy and they keep on collecting energy and once they have sufficient energy more than the wave function they should come out all of them together but it does not happen what we see one photon comes and eject one electron one photon comes eject one electron one photon comes eject one electron now what do you say suppose if a group of electrons does not come and one photon brings one electron so what should be coming an arrow what should be coming an arrow a bullet should be coming arrow a bullet should be coming or a front should be coming yes it is very very clear that the things which is coming is in the shape of an arrow or arrow or in the shape of a bullet because of very low quantity when we started this started this the intensity of light is just start and mean a minimum or minimal photon means can one photon one electron is out ah it does not wave for the front to come and when front comes it distributes energy to all and when the level of energy increase it should come together so it should not start from 0 0 but starts from 0 0 by this experiment it is shown that means the concept of wave front is also not correct so there is nothing else wave front striking a surface no ha huh? the light strike a surface like a bullet like an arrow it goes in eject one electron that is what is shown and number that is number 2 ah with wave front many electrons should come out together it does not happen there is the concept of the threshold frequency okay then now number 3 there should be a time lag between radiation and ejection of electron due to energy given by wave fronts means suppose the wave front ah this is a wide area or wide area comes this is the metal surface this is the metal surface okay this is the metal surface here is the wide area okay or wide area comes this this is the metal surface gives energy gives energy is all the energy given one point one point no to all this point and then second wave front come a third wave front come a fourth come and ah, now the energy level has increased sufficient and all the electrons are comes out and all the electrons are comes out so does it happen instantaneously or will it take some certain times so our argument says it should take some time maybe 0.001 second but some time it will take means there should be no time lag between radiations radiations and ejections radiation and ejections so what this experiment shows there is no time lag means the moment we switch on the light even if it is 
वाट और इफ इफ इट इज जीरो वाट बॉल द मोमेंट वी स्विच ऑन द लाइट और इलेक्ट्रॉन इजेक्ट आउट तो हाउ इट कैन हैपन कैन इट हैपन विद एन एरो और कैन इट हैपन विद द वेब फ्रंट क्लियरली इट कैन हैपन ओनली वाट विथ वन एरो विथ वन एरो एंड इजेक्ट वन इलेक्ट्रॉन इमिडिएटली तो देर इज नो टाइम वेटिंग फॉर कलेक्शन ऑफ एनर्जी that is provided by this experiment and according, according to our wave theory uh, the wave front should come they should give uh, they should give energy to all the electrons are uh, distributed na uh, distributed it should take some time uh, so there is no time lag so this is the third argument that there is no time lag means this tells us that the wave theory concept of wave front is wrong so all these three arguments given says that wave theory is not correct or it not much hard works we can say the wave theory cannot explain it and another very important things the wave theory could not explain the threshold frequency concept threshold frequency concept if the frequency of light is less than a particular frequency and this falling on the matter maybe it is not able to give the full energy Ah, let's wait. Another, another wave come. Another wave come. After some time, one hour, two hour, so much energy should be collected here that electrons should come. But if what we have found, if the light has got frequency less than a particular frequency, that is known as the threshold frequency. Okay, that is known as the threshold frequency. So whatever time you give. So you give it 24 hours or 24 hours light in, electron will not come. So what happening in this energy? So wave theory cannot explain. So if a wave theory cannot explain, we say wave theory is a fade work. And I am showing you by experiment that a frequency less than threshold frequency cannot eject out whatever is the voltage of the bulb. Suppose if we put a red ball for 20 hours for 20 hours in a room it cannot eject a single electron it cannot eject a single electron 20 hour i'm um, sorry 12 hours uh, if i if i put a red ball for 12 hours in a room it cannot eject a single electron means 12 hours how much energy it will give and in place of that i put a blue ball the moment i switch it on Means the zero watt bulb, ah, uh, it will eject electron. So explained by wave theory, you wave theory cannot explain this because of because because for twelve hours, red light must have given lot of energy if amplitude has the energy. So this photon theory says the amplitude does not carry energy. It is frequency which carry the energy. So blue has large frequency. it carries energy sufficient to eject electron to eject electron so red has less frequency so it can never eject electron whatever for whatever uh, whatever for whatever time you say you are sending and the red light so the whatever is the amplitude of red light we have put a red light of 1000 watt bulb it cannot eject a single electron and the zero watt bulb of blue color eject electron so energy depend upon the intensity depend upon the density and energy does not depend on the amplitude but wave theory says it depends upon the amplitude where we have shown it does not depend upon the amplitude so wave theory is a failure so this is the experiment photoelectric experiment shows that wave theory is a failure because or because it fails to explain whatever we see in the laboratory so these are the reasons energy by light is not proportional to its amplitude number 1 number 2 this is the concept of threshold frequency or the concept of wave front number 3 there should be a time lag between radiation and ejection of electron due to energy given by wave fronts so these are the reasons failure of wave theory okay i hope all are understood ओके okay, तो ये हम सब डिस्कशन करेंगे गोएनसीआरटी एरेडी वंस ओके थैंक यू